Greetings, Commanders, and welcome back to the Alpha Injector series for Infantry. We've been talking about the Disable class, and uh, this is Disable Skills for the fourth slot. So far, we've pretty well covered Sleep Bomb from Lilith and Chain from Robin, and their slight differences. Counter Move from Huberian, which is more of a riposte. It, uh, it allows your opponents to act and attack and all that, but instead of taking damage, you reflect it back, which is great against, you know, commanders that do combat damage, but not necessarily against defense comms. So um, it's kind of falling into two, uh, two classes for the disable skills, right? Sleep Bomb and Chain shut down the commanders who are self-buffing, who really rely on skills, and all commanders rely on skills. But uh, you could do a lot with Sleep Bomb and Chain against a Rogers, Elf, or a Reinhardt. But... A uh, counter move from Huberian is not really going to do a lot for you when Elf is hitting you with Curse, and that's the majority of her damage, or Reinhardt's hitting you with his Thorns every time you hit him. Uh, you could get more out of shutting them down with uh, the, the, the you know Sleep Bomb and Chain. So counter move is kind of one of those weird disable skills. But now we have a fourth, one that was kind of overlooked because Mysterious Warrior just has not ever been all that great. Um, but he does have a 30% disable skill, Dual Blades. This was brought to my attention by Splinter earlier today. Um, you know... The thing about a 30% skill is it's so close to a 20% skill, we don't get too excited. But it literally does half as many triggers, 30% instead of 60%, like Roger's Chain. Okay, but it disables two. And infantry disablers are only disabling slots one, two, and three. See, Sleep Bomb and Chain only hit the front row or whatever rows in front of your troop. But dual blades can jump back and hit the back row. Now, not always. It could always jump sideways, right? So if you trigger on slot one, you might just disable their slot one and two. And then when your slot two goes and you hit dual blades again, there's a redundancy. You've already disabled slot two. Uh, so there, there's a bit of a loss there. But you also debuff the dodge on two slots instead of just one. So you get a little more value there. Um, there's a bit of give and take on dual blades. My main problem with dual blades is it's less consistent. If you're a one-slot bus commander, you generally want the skill that triggers more. You just want to get that value right away. Uh, sleep Bomb is just 60% chance you're going to get it more often, and you you might not have troops in slots two and three. Dual Blades, on the other hand, on average, is probably going to give you more value throughout the entire fight, depending on redundancy, right? Um, and even then, I mean, it, it just depends on their march. Uh, but the problem I see with Dual Blades in general is... You can 30% is just not a lot. If you don't have Twin or Wings of Eternity, there's a good chance you don't trigger it on your first, your second. If you're not getting value out of your skills in the first, second, and third attacks, they may as well not even be there. A lot of fights are decided by the first round, at least give you that momentum going forward. If you're infantry and you can trigger an Andromeda and shut down a Roger's defensive stance, and then your second slot goes, that's like you're getting another first strike. If you trigger two sleep bombs in a row, and you shut down your opponent two attacks in a row against a defense comm, that's huge. With a 30% skills, less is often. So um, I do want to throw that out there. It is part of the disable skills. And um, I, I think I still think like in a max leadership fight, super high-end meta, if you throw dual blades on a commander that's going to be using disable, I'm looking at you, Stella. Um, I'm looking at you, Gilly. Probably not Huberian. Um, this can do a lot of damage. I just, I kind of like Sleep Bomb better on Gilly right now because you just get full value. You just shut them down. But I'm not overlooking Dual Blades. It's going to be very easy to get this skill because Mysterious Warrior is a faction comm and a chest. Not very easy. It's going to be reasonably easy. Remember, Mysterious Warrior, Hancock, and Regina are the faction comms that come from chess. And Mysterious Warrior overall is a not very useful commander. And that's because his 60% skill is straight up trash. It's Dragon Slayer skill, but it only hits one slot. It doesn't ignore tier suppression. It doesn't ignore Sui. It doesn't ignore Roger's defensive stance. It's just, if you hit for 100k, he does 90,000 after and just spell damage, no crit. So it's just, it's just a trash skill. So his 30% disable, though, it might have legs. I just want to get that out there in the discussion because at the end of the day, at the end of the day... If you're running the Stella Wings of Eternity Tier 12 HP tank build, and very few people are, but if you're running that accuracy HP build, all of a sudden, dual blades might be able to get you just shutting down your opponent. If you get three triggers of dual blades on your first uh, roundabout, right, you might have disabled three or four of Roger's defensive stance potential triggers. Now, he doesn't, Roger's 80% guaranteed. It's not, a, it's not a guaranteed trigger for defensive stance. So I think Dual Blades has a lot of legs with Stella. I don't know if it has as many legs with Gilly just for reliability. And I know mathematically it's it's almost the same there. But 
Um, anyway, I want to throw that out there. I don't need to keep beating away at this. If you have any ideas about other skills I'm missing, uh, or if you want to add to this conversation, please do. This is a time when the comments are useful. Uh, we can interact with players and uh, bounce ideas off each other. And like I said, this was Splinter's idea, uh, who sent this over to me. And I was like, oh, yeah, because I just launched my first infantry video. I didn't even cover dual blades. But in hindsight, he's right. This, is, this skill is going to be really good on Stella. No doubt about it. Probably better than Sleep Bomb, especially against defense comms. Of course, it does nothing against one slot bust, but uh, well, I guess it does. It stops one slot. Anyway, if this video doesn't need to be any longer, I just want to throw dual blades out there and get your guys' you know, gears spinning. Thank you.